Hey guys, welcome back to Australian Boot Chinese. First, I want to welcome the new subscribers and apologize for delaying this video. I have been pretty preoccupied with my visa applications and it's stressing me out because uh, the new visa may not be approved before the old one becomes invalid. But that's a video for another day and today, as promised, we will talk about time management during a game set session and how you can get better at this. Stop writing, please. I said stop writing. <laughs> Will you stop writing? The main points covered today include the importance of finishing all questions, different amount of time and questions of the new digital format, how to get better at knowing how much time there is left, and also a few strategies and tricks to maximize your time efficiency during a real sitting. Now, it goes without saying that in GAMSAT, you should attempt all questions for all sections. But the problem is, this can be quite difficult, especially if you are a bit of a tree sloth like me. Ah! 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 Mm -hmm. A common strategy is to do the questions in order and get as many questions right as possible and guess the ones that you cannot finish at the end. I'd like to argue that this isn't a very good strategy because a 25% chance of being correct is not that much better than nothing at all. There may be a few questions in the ones that you did not attempt that would have earned you easy marks if you only had time for them. Therefore. The strategy I recommend is to leave yourself enough time to at least look at all the questions, even if it means you have to guess or skip a few hard ones early on. This ensures two things. Firstly, you have answered the questions that you find easy, but may be challenging for others. And secondly, even by reading a question briefly, sometimes you can eliminate one or two options, increasing your chance to 33 or 50 percent, and that's so much better than a blind 25 percent. Moving on to the different format, I'm sure you are aware that GAMSAT is now a digital and more compact exam. But did you know that the average time per question is longer for both section 1 and section 3 after the adjustment? This can be a huge advantage if you find time to be a limiting factor to your performance. Here is a chart showing the different total and average time per question before and after. Note that the reading times have been incorporated as writing times as well, as of the September 2020 sitting. As you can see, there is a pretty significant increase, especially for section 3. Feel free to take a screenshot here because these average times will be critical to how we prepare for the real test. Now that we know we have one and a half minutes and two minutes for each question in section 1 and 3 respectively, what can we do with this information? Well, it's not practical to check the remaining time after every question, but what we can do is setting one or two checkpoints along the way. For example, after 24 questions in section 1, you should have 35 minutes left, and if you have less than 30 minutes, you know you really should hurry up and sacrifice some accuracy for speed. For section 3, you can use 15 questions per half an hour or 25 questions every 15 minutes as good landmarks. It's definitely good to know how you're doing on time during game set. But what if I told you there is something you can do such that you don't even need to check time anymore? And that's by doing a lot of timed mock exams. A strategy I used was dividing the ACER papers into halves and use each half as a mock test. The time limit is calculated based on the average time per question of the new format. You can even push yourself a little harder by taking away 5 minutes per section. Section 2 should remain the same because writing two essays in an hour is very different from writing one in 30 minutes. By doing this at least 5 times, you will gain a very good sense of whether you are spending too much time on a question and adjust accordingly. This method also allows you to integrate practice questions from non-official sources into full-scale mock tests. I believe since exam-level practice questions are such a great resource, we should only use them under exam conditions 
otherwise it will be such a waste. Does it matter you can solve a question in five minutes? You won't have that much time doing the real thing. Finally, let's look at some section-specific tricks to save time. For section one, I encourage you to be flexible with how carefully you read the text. For example, if the prompt is a whole page and there are only three to four questions, it is smarter to firstly identify whether some of the questions are referring to specific lines or parts of the text. Then we can skip or skim through the irrelevant parts. If the prompt is, on the other hand, a paragraph or a poem, I do recommend uh, reading the whole thing first because this won't cost too much time and you will be better prepared to answer the summative questions or the read between the line type of questions. For section two, the digital format is such a blessing in disguise. You can literally just type whatever comes to your mind, and if it doesn't work, you can always hit delete. Of course, this won't be a good strategy, but the point is, um, you don't have to plan your essay in every single detail anymore. Just have a general plan and write a few words for each paragraph at the beginning as prompts. There's no time to think and deliberate over the grammar of a sentence, so you should start the next paragraph when you get stuck. And just remember to fix your half sentences when the right combination of words occurs to you. As previously mentioned, we can skip difficult questions in section 3. Just note down the question numbers and come back to them at the end. This is especially easy with the digital test because you don't even have to turn the pages anymore. Just click the question numbers. And that's pretty much everything I can think of in terms of mastering time for GameSet. Which strategy was your favorite? And do you have more tips you'd like to share? Please tell me in the comments and drop a like for the YouTube algorithm. Be back, Yerma. I am. Hey, what was that? I went on YouTube to view GameSat videos to see all the best strategies to pass the common game set. Whose videos did you see? Australian boot Chinese. So what should we do? Subscribe.